Well, last week at committee, we learned that the Liberal government knew about conflicts of interest at their billion-dollar green slush fund. With $150 million that's been embezzled, after eight years, we know that this Prime Minister certainly isn't worth that cost. Members at the Ethics Committee will have the opportunity to call witnesses, including ministers and officials, who now have demonstrated a changing story between what we've heard in terms of facts and what they've spun in terms of narrative. How will the cover-up coalition vote on exposing these truths? The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, actually, I'm very happy that the member asked the question because it helps me to remind Canadians that the Conservative, Mr. Speaker, are not only against climate change, but now they're against institution of Parliament, and they're against helping our small and medium-sized businesses, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, Canadians should know we believe that we need to fight climate change. We believe in our small and medium-sized businesses, and we believe in clean technology, Mr. Speaker. Our children and our grandchildren deserve that we act. This is exactly what we're going to be doing, and we will restore governance to make sure this happens, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, Mr. Speaker, what Conservatives believe is that when Liberals know about embezzlement by their insiders to the tune of $150 million at their billion-dollar green slush fund, is that there must be accountability. This Minister and his predecessor were aware of the allegations and knew of the facts of conflicts of interest because they were told, but they did nothing about it until they were caught. Their, their members... NDP members and Bloc members are going to have the opportunity to vote on a motion to open this study at the Ethics Committee. So will they continue the cover-up or will they stand for accountability with Conservatives?